Okay, for our next circuit, we're gonna do the pull off press straight to the floor glute bridge. So I'm gonna show you how to set up first the glute bridge on the floor with a barbell. Now I have a short barbell. You can use a seven foot barbell. This is a five foot barbell. So the things that you're gonna need is the pad that goes right in the middle of the bar, because it's gonna sit in the middle of your body, in the middle of your hips. Okay, make sure I'm bending over the flat back, always safely bending over. Okay, and then I have these um, rubber plates. And then I have small tens too that aren't as large in diameter. But then, you know, you're gonna get up to the 45s and they're gonna be big in diameter too. So I just use the rubber plates. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this way more challenging. Uh, you can do these with body weight. You can do these with dumbbells, just on your, on your hips if you don't have a barbell at home. If you're working out at the gym, what I used to do there is either I would take a, a towel and just put it, cover it underneath me because sometimes it, it is a little uncomfortable, but if you're not uncomfortable, just do your glute hip thrust on the ground. It's fine, hip bridges. All right, so that is set up. So what you're gonna do I'm just gonna show you how to set up before we, before we start. You always wanna make sure you're in the, in the middle of the bar because if you're not, you're gonna roll it and it's gonna be mismatched and lopsided. So you don't wanna do that. So make sure that this barbell is in the middle of you. Make sure you got your toe. Yes, I am a germ probe. Okay, and then see the hips. This is right in the middle, right on my hips. I'm gonna bring my feet underneath my knees. Might as well start here, right, while I'm here. All right, and then hands in a wide position. That's not super even. Now, what I want you to notice is that I'm taking my time. At the top, squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can the glutes. And pause. Can you give me your shirt for a minute? My shirt? Yeah. So this is what I used to do at the gym. When I used to do any hip thrust, just give me your oh, yeah. shirt. Yeah. yeah. So just for privacy, you know, it's if you're uncomfortable at the gym, I honestly would just, I just did this. I know it's a little weird, but you know what? If you feel uncomfortable, if you don't want some strange guy staring at you, hip thrusting, that's an option. All right, so I'm gonna show you two different ways to do the pull off press. If you're at home, you're gonna use a band. All right, the pull off press is great for stabilization and it's great core exercise. It looks easy, but it's not. So you're just gonna tie a band around a door, whatever you have. Just make sure you can see this whole thing. And you're gonna grab it like you're holding your hands, okay? Come out till you feel tension. And all you're gonna do is press forward for 12. Now, it's the opposite of what you think. My abs are on fire right now, my core. So it should be feeling really challenging to push out and bring it back to the middle of your chest the whole time. So fight that tension trying to force you the other way. Three more. I'm gonna show you on the cable after we do this. All right, so now it's the other way. So you're gonna pull out, make sure you create that tension, hands in the middle of your chest, push out. Now you're gonna feel the opposite 
side of your core working. And the glutes are working to stabilize. You're gonna feel the glutes working to stabilize you as well. And push out, bring it back to the middle of your chest. And resist that tension pulling you back. Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna break a minute. Woo, my core is on fire! Woo, baby! All right, one minute, and then, you know, I know in, in the program it says call off press to hip thrusts or the glute bridges, but I did opposite today, completely fine. Now, I just did hip glute bridges yesterday that's why I'm not going heavy today. My glutes are a little sore. Normally I would definitely do 45s on each side with a, with, with a seven foot bar and even a little more depending on the day and how I feel. Right now, since I'm a little more fatigued and I did these yesterday, I'm only gonna put 10 pounds. Do not copy what I do. Make sure it's intense. You should be feeling it and it should feel by the knife, it's getting tough. And I didn't watch the time because I talked too much, but we're going to go. All right. I'm so not used to being you so quiet. Oh. How's your workout going, honey? Slower than it should be. How come? I have no idea. Are you tired? I don't feel tired. Oh, that's good. I don't know. I feel like I finished something and then I'm like... Stop going, you going to your phone in between? No, no Okay, I good. My I do my little oh, off. okay, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so the pad's in the middle. Make sure the barbell's not lopsided. Get that in the middle of your body. Feet underneath your knees, hands are wide. And then what I want you to notice is that when you go to the top, all right, when you think you can't push anymore, push a little bit higher, okay? So you kind of got like a couple more inches to push up and that's really going to activate the glutes I want you to notice how I'm pausing at the top and really getting a good glute squeeze Now I'm going to do the cable. I'll show you what it looks like on the cable machine. The payoff, pull off press, payoff, pull off. You say apple, I say awful. Or potato, potato. <laughs> okay. So let's do the pull off press on the cable. So it's the same thing, resist the cable coming back, and I can feel the left side of my core activating big time. These are more challenging than you think. All right, I can really feel the core kicking in, the glutes are stabilizing, everything's working. You 
really want to resist, if you don't feel like you're resisting, pull out a little more. That's better. All right, good. All right, so now we're going to break for a minute. Get a drink and we get two more rounds. I'm already done 16 ounces. I forget what time I looked at the clock. Okay, that's my menopause brain. But I'll do 30 more seconds and then we'll go again. Usually I do that. I'm like, how long was it? And I'll just wait 30 seconds. I'm kind of obsessed with being on time, right, honey, on, the, on my workouts? Yeah. All right, 15 more seconds and we are going to go glute bridge to Pella Press. I know that was supposed to be the other way, but it's all right. Are you that hot? Yep. I'm actually feeling cool right now. Oh, my battery has low battery. My phone is low battery. Well, good thing we're just about done. All right, so if this shuts off in the middle, you know why. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it won't. All right, so remember, make sure the bar is in the middle. Otherwise, it's going to be lopsided. You're going to be really embarrassed if you're at the gym. It's going to fall off of your body. You don't want that, okay? So middle of hips, feet underneath your knees, wide grip on the bar with your arms. You're gonna push your hips toward the ceiling. And remember, just when you think that you've gone high enough, push a little higher. Make sure you get that nice glute squeeze, push, pause, squeeze, okay? What I really want you to just think about is squeezing the glutes as hard as you can. And pause. Okay, held that last one a little bit longer. Woo, my future on fire! Yeah, baby. All right. I'm gonna do cable. I'm gonna add a, just a little bit of weight. Because this is a longer, whoops. It's a longer handle. I'm gonna switch the handle. Cause this one's quite long. All right, here we go. Pull it way out. Make sure you get lots of room between you and the cable, all right? Because you really want to create that tension when you're pushing away. Turn around.
right. Amazing! Amazing! That was amazing! All right, now I know 3200 to 33. We're gonna go. 45 seconds, I'm get myself a drink. All right, we got one more round. This is great. Working out really good today. All right, so we have one more round of this. If you're new to glute bridges, you're gonna get strong really quick. You're gonna be able to increase the weight, really get that glute pump going, grow some nice shapely glutes because it's never too late. I don't believe anyone who says that at a certain age you can't build muscle. That's absolute bullshit. Let me tell you that. All right, we're ready to go. Right on the money, right on the money. Did you put the AC on? I had to. Come on. No, you gotta kill people at 10 o'clock. It's gotta be on. Honey, please shut it off and just turn on at 10 of. It doesn't, you put a lot Yeah, but my, I, I don't, I have to be I'll warm. Give you 10 more minutes. Thank you. It's like I have to be warm when I work out. I can't be, I can't be cool. Here, That's perfect. It doesn't take half hour to, oh, he went to the bathroom. He's completely ignoring me. Oh, well. All right. Remember, barbell in the middle. Make sure you look before you put it on. Make sure you get a pad. And I forgot to mention, if you don't have a pad, you can wrap a yoga mat around this or a towel. All right. Because you do not want to get any bruises. It hurts. You don't want to get any bruises on your, on your body. All right. Here we go. Your husband will think something was weird going on. All right, here we go. Feet underneath your knees and push your hips toward the ceiling. Make sure you get that glute squeeze at the top. Just when you think you can't push anymore, push up a couple more inches. Ugh, good. Is that three or four? I don't know. I'll say five. Ugh. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. Good. All right, we got four more. You're gonna squeeze and pause. Squeeze and pause, push up a little more. I think it's one more, one more. Oh. Holy crap, all right. I'm gonna do, just to keep it even, I'll do the band two and two. Okay, let's do the band for the last pile off press. Um, this one is a lot more challenging, I find, the band. <clears throat> nice tall chest, your abs are working, so make sure they're turned on. Push out like you're punching somebody gently and then bring it back to your chest. Push out, bring it back in. It's gonna feel like your heart center, right? You wanna push out some love, bring back in some love. <laughs> and I don't have no idea what number I'm on. Let's just do five more. Six more. Definitely way harder than the cable. Maybe I just need to do more weight. Holy shit, okay. Excuse the language, what? 
No, no, I'm done. Yeah, so that is done, guys. That was a really great workout. And I would say it's about around an hour. I think I started around 8.30 and it is a little after 9.30 with my long breaks in between and talking too much. Um, that's it. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this full body Wednesday. Wednesday full body. I'll be back to bring you Friday full body. And see you soon.